In this video, we're going to look at adding a filter section to our synthesizer. And before we get started, I want to point something out that I did at the beginning of the last video. I double clicked on this beige tan area to get down into my instrument. Another way that you can do that would be to just double click on the background here. That's going to add another step to the process because then you have to double click to get into the instrument. But that's another way to navigate around. So adding a filter section, let's go ahead and get back into our instrument. I'm going to select all of these things and move them out to the left here because the filter section is going to have to come after our sawtooth waveform oscillator. So we'll create the filter with the control click or right click, built-in module, filter, and let's go with the multi two-pole filter. This is a pretty simple filter. And let's connect the out of the sawtooth waveform to the in of the filter and disconnect the voice combiners for now. We're going to create controls for our filter by control clicking on the letter P and the R. That's going to create a cutoff and a resonance control. And as you can see, we have three outputs. Now, these are the outputs for each individual filter, the high pass, the band pass, and the low pass filter. And since we can't connect all of those to these two voice combiners, we need to create what's called a switch. So we'll do that. Again, we'll bring up our context menu. We're going to go to built-in module, panel, and switch. Now the switch by default only has one in and one out. So let's go ahead, double click the switch. We want to be over here in our properties view. We're going to go over to the function tab and we're going to increase the minimum number of ports to three. Now I'm just clicking and dragging up. You could also click right in there and type a number. So now we have three imports for our switches and we're just going to go ahead and connect those to the different filters. High pass, band pass, and low pass. Now, as you'll see in a minute, the name that is uh, it's going to show up in our interface is going to be dependent on what's here on the switch. So we want to change this where it says in. I'm just double clicking until it turns red. And I'm going to type in HP for high pass, BP for low for uh, band pass, and LP for low pass. And now I'm going to connect these this out to my voice combiners. So let's level up and see what we've got in the instruments interface. And once again, everything is being populated uh, automatically uh, in the upper left hand corner. So we need to command P to unlock the panel and start dragging our new elements off to the side here. So there's our switch. and our cutoff and our resonance. Lock the panel set. Now in order to get this to work, we need to turn on one of these filters. So I've just chosen the high pass and let's go ahead and play some notes. And let's try the low pass. Now, as you can see, the uh, filter envelope is not visible. And once again, we need to level down and select the filter envelope, go over to the properties view, choose view and make it visible. So now when we go back up, we can see, whoops, I moved the attack out of the way by accident. Let's move that back into place. So now we can see the filter envelope And we can see it move when we adjust the cutoff and the resonance. So now we're starting to get into uh, a pretty standard synthesizer. We've got a tactic case sustain and release, and we've got a uh, filter section. In the next video, we're going to look at adding multiple oscillators, and then we're going to do a little bit of visual stuff to make the synthesizer look a little more interesting.